If you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today's May 20th, 2020 and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, fade the new strategy works. We're going to show you what we're talking about in just a second. But first we're going to go over the economic events of the day. So we're starting out today at 3.30 South African time out of United Kingdom. Bank of England Governor Bailey will be speaking. Now going over the markets first, looking at the Forex symbols, major pairs holding their gains versus the US dollar as that rotation takes effect. Now the Dow Jones yesterday had a fizzle, okay, towards the end of the day, gave up some of its gains from that Monday rally, okay, that 900 point rally, and that's the fate of the news we're going to take a look at that in just a second and looking at the commodities we're watching gold trade steadily above that 1740 level and oil trading on resistance lastly looking at the stocks across the board they fizzled out okay so that does mean like people are taking their profits let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading so we're going to first take a look at the euro usd and yesterday we mentioned this that it did bounce off of the support level 107.82 ish earlier in the week and then rallied all the way up to 109.60 almost touching 110 ish level okay so that's a nice little rally but it's holding its weight here okay so this is really important to note okay i wouldn't jump on this long at these levels okay because it is closer to its resistance level but just want to take note of it okay if it does perk above that 109.97 it may get a little bit interesting on the upside as the dollar gets weaker versus the euro usd gbp usd same story it did bounce yesterday getting a little bit of that formation that v formation we we're looking for we are at a minor resistance right now and especially because governor bailey will be speaking it might had some volatility to the market later today now jumping into commodities gold trading at 1748 above that 1741 support resistant ish level okay that's a new level that we're at so this may actually increase today as the markets kind of sell off okay in the indices okay we've been seeing a nice sell off in the indices so this might actually perk up later today just keep an eye on it and use that 1741 as a support but always put a stop loss underneath that supportish level now looking at oil okay we're trading at that 3229 but giving way right here to 3210 ish level not a big way but just realize that we are trading in a new range right now as long as the lockdown easing still takes effect it should be kind of interesting how this actually will unfold in the next couple of weeks now looking at the dow jones we had that massive rally at the beginning of the week we capitulated a 24,700 ish level if we look at a four hour chart that's a bona fide resistance ish level where we hit okay that really is a bona fide level i mean it did hit around 70 24 750 which we hit before with a candle but here we only hit it with a wick so with that said we're getting that bounce right here so this is really a pivotal moment for the price of uh, the index okay is it going to break this 24,300 ish level which is a support ish level and if it does it could go way back down to 23,991 now remember this is only week trading okay one week okay this whole move from about right here is a week trading it's a week long trading okay so with that said there's a lot of volatility in the Dow Jones still okay with what's unfolding in the markets now looking at the stocks yesterday across the board they sold off apple selling off here to 312 amazon also selling off if we look at microsoft also sold off 183 facebook held its way at 216 but when we look at jp morgan also selling off to 88 uh, below that 91 dollars so the markets are in effect making that correction at this resistance -ish level okay so if there was a point to actually you know enter a short sell in these markets the around this area would be a healthy place okay now obviously it would be nice to retrospectively take it on that monday rally but looking at what's going on and what's unfolding in the next couple of weeks i believe the markets are going to make a little bit of a correction okay so that is something to consider as we go into today's session there 
isn't any major, major news that's coming out in the markets, okay, besides Fed Chairman actually uh, yesterday speaking, uh, Powell speaking yesterday in front of Congress, and then earlier this week he made that comment about not betting against the U.S. markets, and tomorrow he has a small speech, but other than that, there's not major news that's actually coming out. So everything news-wise is already factored into the market. Now, what isn't factored into the market is what's going to happen in the next Three, 30 days to 45 days with the lockdown easing and how this second wave or third wave happens or doesn't happen and that will be the biggest question so something to consider as we enter the next couple of weeks of trading you know with today in mind this is Fred Rezac I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you